Hi, my name is Kazeka Munias, and uh, I came here today to put a series of tapes for you guys to show you guys uh, or teach you some of the different ways of street fighting that we have in my country, Brazil. Okay, um, these uh, techniques are based on a lot of Brazilian style Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, or Thai boxing style from Thailand, and a lot of Filipino Kali, and also some of the Jun Fan Jikin Do from Master Bruce Lee. Okay, in this tape you're gonna find out uh, this is not just a traditional way of fighting because uh, in the street there is no tradition that counts. Okay, you can do, take, whatever you can at the moment, okay? In, in the streets, remember, anything goes. You can bite, you can poke in the eyes, you can kick in the groins, you can lock, you can choke, you can punch, anything, even find a weapon, strike your opponent with, okay? I hope, you know, by watching these, ta these tapes, you, your mentality or real fighting will change. You know, just about only ground fighting, it's not just about punching and striking, it's about mixturing. It's about putting everything together or putting anything you can do at the moment to survive and come victorious. Okay, now come without wasting no more time. Okay, put your clothes on, your training equipment, if you have any, you know, get a partner if you have any, and let's get going. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna work on now, I'm gonna show you, is uh, how to do foot locks and knee locks. Okay, um, before we started, I wanted to remind you guys, and you and your partner, when you guys feel uncomfortable, feel pain, even, even if you know he's not making any kind of a move but you feel uncomfortable anyway, tap or let your partner know, stop and start over again. Okay, don't try to be rough and tough and try to support pain because you're gonna get hurt and then it's gonna be even worse. Okay, first thing before I, we start to make a move, I'm gonna show you how to do it and you know, all the pressure points and the leverage, how to create leverage in the ankles such as in the knees. Okay, and then we're gonna try to apply and see how can you apply into a technique. Okay, first thing I'm gonna show you is the you know, mo very common in shoe wrestling, an ankle lock. Okay, have your palm lay down and I grab his foot, okay? Make sure that you, his foot is right under his, his ankle. His, this part of the ankle is right un under your armpit, okay? Like this, okay? Right under your armpit, okay? You don't want to go too forward need to back because you go too forward you ain't gonna put pressure enough for him to make him give up and to back he's gonna pull his foot out and escape okay now what I'm gonna do is as soon as you put the ankle on the armpit okay you're gonna see something first of all if you have a jacket you have a t-shirt you can grab yourself okay I usually recommend Try to put the other hand on top of his shin and grab your own forearm, your own wrist, like this. Can you guys notice? Again, put it under my armpit. Okay, the other hand comes right on top. And the hand grabs the wrist. See that? That's the basic move right there. Okay? Okay, from here now, once you do this, okay, we're gonna see how can we create leverage. Okay, the main thing, most important part, when you guys apply the technique, is to, to try to keep your butt away from his body as much as possible. Why? Because first, if my body is very close to him, I won't be able to create leverage enough to make him give up. I'll be here all, all day, all night, and won't be able to make him give up, okay? I wanted to keep my butt 
away from him as much as possible. See that? Away. When I was really close, no leverage at all. But when I do this, real fast. Okay. Other thing is, now, to create more leverage, okay, you're going to be looking backwards. You're going to use the strength of your arms whatsoever. You're going to use the strength of your back. Okay? When you go here, notice that I don't use my, my arms. Okay? I, use, I just look back. See that? Because you see, I'm just putting my weight on his ankle rather than try to muscle him out. Now comes the worries. Okay, how can I keep him from standing up and preventing the foot lock? It's very easy. I'm going to come. This leg is going to try to push the other leg away. Okay? So that comes from here, right in his knee, bam, right there. Okay? My other leg is going to come and be on top. Notice this. If I can put it under my the knee of the other leg, even better. Okay, in the same time, I look back and apply the pressure. Again. So we come here first. Okay. Sometimes if you wanna be, you know, more sneaky or you wanna make set him up, sometimes you you can grab the leg here and put a little bit of pressure. Because for nature what is he gonna, he's going to do? He's going to try to pull his foot away. He's going to try to pull his leg off your arm. Okay? So as soon as he tried to pull his leg, he tried to pull his leg. See? Now you trap the ankle. Now you trap the ankle. See, right? I didn't have to go right away to my ankle. I started here, and then I wait for him. I put a little pressure with my arm, making him think I'm going to go for the foot lock, and try to make him pull the arm, the leg, I'm sorry. When he pulled his leg, he dropped himself into the full lock for me. Okay? Now, pull the leg, come in, in his chin, trap, make the figure of four. Right there. Tight. Your elbow goes to your back, straight to your body. Right there. Push the leg away from you. Right there. Bring the leg on top, okay? Try to put your foot under your other knee and start looking back and apply the pressure. Let's look at the right, other angle. Okay, I grab his leg, put it under my armpit, I'm in the shin, figure of four. Put the leg out. Bring this in one side. Go into your under, other knee. Start looking back. Okay? Now, can you guys notice a little bit? I'm not actually straight back. I'm going to try to bend my body a little bit sideways. Okay? Sideways. You see how I make his knee bend? Like that. Okay? Because if I stay straight like this, it will be very easy for him to escape. He should just have to pull this arm, this leg away, this leg away, and stand up. Stand up. Yeah, stand up. Like that. See that? Now no more foot lock. But now, when I'm in down on the ground, to prevent that, I roll, I roll myself to the side, bending his leg. Put my other one under my knee, and Look back, applying the pressure right in his ankle. Again. Let's practice.
Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is going to be a little, little variation of the food lock we just did. Okay, let's say perhaps we got everything. Okay, we go to the same position, but we may sleep out. We might, might, I may lose, lose the control on his ankle. Okay, what can I do? Okay, when I'm in here, I want to switch from there. I wanted to put his heel right on my forearm, like that, okay? Right there. And I'm gonna grab, okay, I can grab my own wrist. I can just hold on to it, you know, like so. I, just, I prefer, personally, hold on to my own wrist. The same way, and just apply it, apply the full lock. But remember, thing, try to at least keep the control of your arm in his foot. Okay? So let's do it again. We're here, and I miss or I lose the control. He tried to put his leg like that. Okay? I control his leg first. Okay? And try to put his heel in my forearm. Like that, like so. Try coming here with my other hand. Grab. Okay? And just apply the pressure, okay? So be something like this. We'll be here, we'll go for the ankle lock, but we miss. We control the leg, and we can apply the foot lock right there. Okay, let's practice. Okay, next foot lock we're gonna do, be very careful. It's very fast and very delicate to do it, okay? Be nice with your partner. Okay, we're gonna have our partners doing what we call, we're gonna be in like a, we call cross body because we're gonna be right like a vertical with him, okay? Now, let's say we're in this position and your partner raises his knees, try to protect, prevent for you to go on top of him. So he braces both hands, hand, prevent, you know, you're here and he pushes, and he doesn't want you to go on top, okay? So what I'm gonna try to do now, since his legs are on my way, I don't wanna be fighting against his legs, okay? Eventually you guys will find out it's very easy, even, you know, if he puts his legs up for you to be on top. But right now, since we're working a foot lock, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, from here we're gonna do this simple. Since I'm in this position, I'm gonna try to foot lock his leg is closest to my body. Okay, I can also do it with the leg away from my body, but this is easier and more, and more painful. From here, I'm gonna come in here and grab his foot, like so. Okay, like this. See by the sharp side of his foot, like that, like so. My other hand is gonna come under and inside and grabbing my own wrist, okay? And what you try to do is just try to push his toes in downward direction, like this. See that? Okay, again, so I come here, he raised, I'm trying to get in there, but he put his legs. I even sometimes, if I'm in sideways right here, and he tried to push me with his legs, I can come here and grab the same way. See, fingers together, right there, lock. Coming inside, no on top, no like this, inside. See that? His heel is gonna be resting my forearm, okay? 
and I'm going to do the pushing with this hand, not with this hand, with this hand. This is going to support my wrist, start pushing. See that? Sometimes you also can do it towards his body, like that. Or you can spin away from him, like that. Okay? Let's do it again. You can be from here, like so, or from the side. One thing I usually like to do is throw my weight on the top of the leg. I'm trying to spin with him, like so. See that? Again, let's see for another angle. Here. When I grab, okay, I throw my body on top. See that? And apply the pressure. Okay, let's do it in a fast motion. We'll be here. He raises his leg. Or here, the same way. Okay, let's practice. Raise his leg. Or here, the same way. his leg or here the same way okay now let's do a little variation with the opposite leg okay it's gonna be the same technique it's just in a different leg, in a different direction. Let's do it again. Away. Okay. Now he raises his legs again. Okay. Now I go for the other leg. This one. He's going to grab the same thing, but instead of grabbing this side, I'm going to grab this side. Okay. The inside. I'm going to come the same under and grabbing my own wrist, okay? When I put pressure down again, okay? So you can do the same thing. Put the weight on top and apply the pressure, okay? Right there, okay? Don't do it too hard. It's enough. See, until he feel pain, let it go. Start over again. The same thing, you can do it from here. Boom, okay? Right there. I usually put my weight on top because that prevents for him to try to escape. Okay, I put my weight on top, go under, try to roll, and just put pressure. Okay? So let's practice. Okay? So you can do the same thing. Put the weight on top and apply the pressure. Okay, so you can do the same thing. Put the weight on top and apply the pressure. Okay, so you can 
do the same thing. Put the weight on top and apply the pressure. Okay, next thing we're going to do is a little variation on the foot lock. Instead of laying back, we're going to step forward. Okay, it's going to be the same technique, his ankle under my armpit, putting the figure of four on his ankle. Okay, the only difference is going to be, instead of laying back, I'm going to step forward. The pressure, the technique, the leverage is going to be the same. Okay, maybe, you know, it's good for you to have a different ways. That way you always can use it depending on the situation. Yes, let's go here and have our partners lay down. Grab his ankle, it's like it would normally do. Figure of four. Okay, here. Okay, in the street, I recommend people to smash his groin. That would be the first thing, is to call his attention. And for purpose of training, we're gonna try not to do it. For that, if you have a cup, wear it. If you know, have your partner put his hand in his groin to prevent for you to, you know, accidentally hurt him. Okay, what I wanted to do now, I wanted to put my knee right up top of his thigh, going towards the ground, okay? You can easily stand out, it's for purpose of training. And easily put that knee on the ground. And just apply the same pressure. How? Just look back. Right there. This is the same way. Sometimes if you want to be really mean, just see that? Put the pressure right on the knee. On the knee and then back on the ankle. So it'll be knee and ankle lock. Okay? Let's do it again. Grab. You know, have your partner protect himself. Stand up. You, you know, just for practice training. Because if you're on the ground, you just can go straight up and do it, okay, but that would be faster and you can hurt him. So I just stand up, be nice, put in the ground, and look back, okay? Or lean, lean to the side to put the pressure on the knee, and then back, okay? Again. Let's practice. Okay, now I'm going to go to move on a step farther. I'm going to show you some knee locks, okay? Um, they're harder to do, but they're as effective, okay, and very dangerous. So please, once again, be nice with your partner, and your partner, when you feel pain, let, your other, you know, let him know, because he doesn't know how much pressure you actually put into him. Okay, so the first knee lock is going to be like this. You got partner in the guard again, okay? You're gonna bring one hand inside, okay? One hand inside. You mean his guard, like so. Keep your back straight. Bring one hand inside, like around knee level. It's pretty good, okay? And you guys notice, I'm trying to keep his calves round up my bicep level, 
I can even pull into my neck level, OK? That does not make no difference. Now, what I wanted to do, keep my hand there. Keep the control, OK? First, most important thing is that. Then come with my other hand and grab my own wrist. Like so, fingers together, OK? And keep it close to me, close, like that, OK? What I want to try to do is with my neck, trap his leg, like so, like this. Okay, my elbow towards my body, my wrist right there. Okay, really tight to his thigh. thigh. Okay, right here. What I'm trying to do now, you guys keep trying to twist a little bit, like that, like so. Okay, remember, it's very important to trap his leg with your neck because when he starts feeling pressure, if he, if he is not, see, he's going to just pass his leg. Okay? So you strap his leg with your side of the face, your neck, anything. His thigh with your forearm very tight to your body. Okay? Now, try to twist a little bit. Sometimes, okay, you can lift your other leg to give you more leverage. You see, raise yourself, and yes, right there, making give up. Okay, slowly again, come here, and inside, okay, bring his leg higher. Put your tricep, your bicep level, or your neck. I usually prefer my neck, okay? Sometimes it's good to keep it here, because if he, then you got a second choice. If he try to escape, you can, you know, bring it to your neck and he can no longer escape. You trap him. Tip, you bring your leg eye to give you more leverage. Sometimes you can, by the, using your leg, watch. See how much create, because it use your hips to create the rotating motion that you need. Okay? So again, let's change the angle. Again, here, okay, you see that? How his knee is already going that way. Now I want to, to keep my body tight, okay? Bring my leg and use my hips motivation, rotation. But at the same time, trap it. See that? Right there. Be very careful. Don't do it so fast, it's slowly. Apply pressure enough, giving him time to tap and come back. Okay? Let's practice. Okay, next knee lock we're gonna do is gonna be very uncomfortable for your partner. Okay, and it's not so, you know, easy to do, but it's very dangerous. Okay, um, difference from this knee lock is because the, the higher difficulty to get into is a little bit higher. Okay, but it's one of the most effective one because it includes the knee such as the waist, okay? So it's really dangerous. So practice to know it, okay? 
into a real fight if it comes to situation, do it. But when you fight, you train with your partner and actually training. Prevent to stay away from it because it's very, very, very dangerous and very fast to hurt your, you know, your opponent's or your partner's knee. Okay, it's going to be like this. With your partner, getting in the guard, okay? Now, with this hand, I want you to grab around by his thigh waist, so his knee, okay? Come in here, try to push him away, okay? Try to push him away, okay? Leaving his shin or his, his, you know, his leg, his calf, right in your stomach, okay? As soon as you do that, the other hand is going to come under in between his leg. You see that? Not in between his legs, but between that leg. Okay, between his thigh and his calf. Watch. You keep controlling there. Keep your body low. Okay, come inside and grab anything that you can. Right there. Okay, like that. Keep very tight to your body. Again, you be here. Grab. If you can control the leg with your forearm like this and just use your body. See, instead you just pull a muscle because his leg is going to be always stronger than you. Okay? Grab here. Use your whole body. Sometimes if you, you want to raise this leg to create more leverage, even better. Mm. Like that. You see that? Okay. Now when you're in this position right here, that hand mm. comes inside and grab. Okay? But this time, you can let this hand go. Okay, because he's already trapped. Your arm, your body is trapping his leg. The only he thing he's going to try to do is try to scoop away from you. Okay, so you're going to try to prevent that with this hand. We're going to try to grab his t-shirt, his arm, okay? But before you do that, you know, you grab something, okay? And you try to stem your body up, okay? Try to stem your body up. Okay, try to reach higher, the higher you can. Okay, again, let's go far back to the beginning. Be here. Okay, both hands drag the leg into the side. Okay, remember, if you're in a street fight, he's gonna try to be punching you, he's gonna try to be do something. So they have to be very precise. So practice, make it more fast and faster, it'll become a habit. Okay. Push in there, arm inside, and grab something. By the time I let it go, because I trap his leg with my body, okay, with my body weight, right there. I try to grab something, okay? Now, I try to raise my body up. You see that? You see that? Okay. Now, I grab something, like I said before. If you can grab his hair, it's good too in the street, anything goes. So hey, why not? So but for prime pur uh, training purposes, he's gonna grab here. If he doesn't have a t-shirt, grab his arm. Or the back of his neck, okay? Remember, keeping your body in his shin. Because as soon as you give him space, he's gonna take his leg out and escape. So you're gonna lose the movement. So right now, right here, keep it tight. Okay, maybe, maybe, on the direction he has, maybe he's trying to turn and give you his back, which later on we're going to find out that it doesn't solve his problems. Okay, so right here, grab the t-shirt and try to bring, see your back, your body, bringing his knee in that direction. No nope, down, okay, but using my leverage of my body. Look at that. Okay, that will break up his knee. So again from the top. Here, control his legs. Okay, sometimes if you want to control him totally, you can put this hand under and grab by his waist like that. See that? Now, even if he tried to escape, try to escape, my friend. that you can no longer escape okay so now right there you come in and grab pull that away and control his 
here, come inside, grab something, and apply the lock. Again. Practice. Okay, the next knee locks I'm going to be showing, it's going to be a more like a kind of strike when he tried to defend, okay? First one I'm going to throw you is when he tried to trap my legs. Okay, I have my partner lay down here. Okay, let's say we get end up in a situation in the street when one of my legs gets stuck between him. See like that? And he tries to trap my leg. Okay, just like so. Okay, now what I want to try to do first, I'm going to bring my knee on top, okay? So again, I'm going to be here, open my hands here to keep my balance. In the streets, I can, you know, punch him or do whatever, okay? Here, I'm going to put my hands on the ground, okay? Raise up and put my knee, okay? Notice something. My foot is still on the ground. It's not in the air. I'm just putting my knee on his stomach. Okay? Here. Okay? If he tries my leg, tries to trap my leg, okay, I can hurt him from here. But I can also apply a knee lock. How? I'm going to come here and grab his leg. Okay? Usually, if my, part, my opponent is a smart fighter, he's going to try to keep his legs bent, okay? So I come here and grab his leg, okay? My knee is gonna go from here to the ground, okay? Keeping my calf or my shin right in his stomach, okay? Again, we're gonna be from here, okay? Raise up. Bring my knee to the ground, from the ground to his stomach. Keeping my foot on the ground for my balance. I can keep my hands in the ground if I want to, to establish my position first. From here, okay, I come back, grab his leg. My knee goes to the ground, like that. Okay, from there, I just sit down like so, and try to bring his leg towards my shoulder and make him tap right here with a lock. And again, from here, I put my knee on the ground, okay? Or I'll grab his leg one or the other before. I usually recommend from here, grab his leg first, okay? In the motion or going down, that's when I'm bringing my knee to the ground, okay? Here. I can give up right here. Okay, maybe sometimes you're here and he doesn't give up. You twist for the foot lock we already work on. So you can make a knee lock and a foot lock at the same time. Okay, let's do it again. We trap, hands in the ground, knee in the chest, grab the leg, Lay down, 
food lock or right here okay let's practice Okay, the next knee lock we're gonna do um, is gonna be also defense, okay, when he's trying to defend, okay, but from another angle. Okay, this, uh, at the beginning, you guys wanna find out this hard, more hard than what it looks like, okay, especially with the, the guys fighting. But practice makes habit, practice makes perfection. Not because you see the tape once and you practice once, oh, I know it. That is not, that's not the way it works. You have to do it over and over and over until today I'm still, and I'm still, you know, I'm not a very good at it. I'm better than average people. But, you know, the more I practice, the better I'll become. So let's, let's see. Okay, this is in a very common position for judo, wrestlers, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stylists, and basically it's just, you know, be a common position in the street. Okay, where you end up in, in a line with your opponent. Okay, let's say we're in this position right here. Okay, you know, I'm trying to do something. And he raises his legs. You know, he's trying to bring his legs to protect, to prevent for me to do anything like that. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do first, but it's going to be at the beginning, or later on, you guys are going to see it's about timing. Build up your timing, okay? I'm just gonna show you the technique later on, you know, because a lot of things can change depending on how he moves. Maybe he turns sideways, maybe he brings you back, maybe he goes forward. So, it's a timing. I'm just gonna show you the technique and you try to practice. Right here, go from here, okay? From here, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna try to grab his leg, okay? The inside. I don't want to grab from the outside, okay? Because, first of all, he can be smart and come in here and grab around my arm, around, and use my other arm, grab my other arm, and flip it to this side. See that? Now I end up in the bottom. So what I want that to do, from here, I want to grab here, okay? And try to put my way on on top again prevent that to happen from the other side okay open my elbow to establish balance now what I have to do I'm gonna get kind of a tip of my toes like like so to have a sprint I'm gonna come on top okay see notice my knee comes inside between his legs okay comes right between his leg like so like that Okay, again, come here, grab the leg inside, okay, bring the leg in here, see, I walk myself up, okay, now what I have to do is just lay forward, my knee, it was right here, I wanted to bring it 
inside as possible. Notice that. I'm going from here all the way down here. Okay? So let's try to do that again. From here, I grab his leg. Okay? Go inside. Okay? And we're gonna apply the same technique. Okay, right here. Okay? Be nice. And don't apply so much pressure because of his groin. Okay? But try to apply the pressure right on your waist, right here. Push down toward his knee and push him up. Okay? So, again. Here. Come inside here. Grab. Okay? Come inside. All the way to the ground. And apply pressure. Bam. Right here. Again. He bring his legs up. Okay. Let's practice. Okay, next knee lock, I'm going to show you guys, I usually like to do it when I'm doing a takedown. I'm going to show you from the takedown, and then you guys can apply also in the ground. I'm going to show you how to do it too. The first thing I'm going to to do, I'm going to show you how the takedown is done, and apply the knee lock. Okay, so I'm going to have my partner right here, he's right there, okay, coming closer please. Okay, now watch, when I clinch him, I'm going to grab him by the both legs, okay? I'm going to bring my leg right behind his and push him forward. Okay, as you notice, I leave my leg under his. Okay, what I'm going to do now is do like as we call figure of four with the legs. I'm going to put my leg that is under his above my knee, okay? Or the bending on my knee, like so. Okay, you see that? My knee here, I put my leg right where my knee bends. Okay, what I try to do now, I'm gonna try to raise or put my whole weight right above his knee, or out right above his knee level. It doesn't have to be exactly on top. Okay, what I try to do is that, put my whole weight, see that? And try to start putting pressure. You can lock and then start putting pressure. Okay, that's gonna make him give up. Again, from here, from the standing up, I grab him, okay, leg goes forward, okay, like that, see my leg stays there, it doesn't come out, it stays right where it was, and goes right on top of my knee, like so, I lock, 
ok, put my whole weight in my waist, ok, right there, you can do this if you want to, to put more pressure, right there, or you can keep your body down, prevent it from getting here, and apply the pressure, right there, ok, the same thing you can do uh, when you're in the guard position, like this, ok, the only thing is you have to come up higher, uh, higher than his leg, okay, and bring your leg inside. See that? How I got his leg there. I'm between his legs. I just I can easily bring my above his, or I just can hook like this, okay? Goes to my knees. The technique applied the same, okay? So be like this. Again, let's practice. I hope uh, by the end of watching all the tapes, you guys can watch and visualize that real fighting is different from a tournament, okay? In the streets, there are things, you know, that are not expected, okay? Just like in war, you know, when you fight in a battle, no matter how good you are, you're going to get wounded, okay? The main thing is to come out alive. That's the main purpose, okay? In the streets, uh, being a champion in whatever, you know, your sport or your martial arts type you are does not count because people does not look up to that. You know, if you want to fight with somebody, it's you and him. It's no a title. It's not a name. It's you and against him, okay? In the street, remember, like I said in the beginning, anything goes, okay? Be open-minded. Train. Okay, these tapes don't believe they're gonna make you, you know, a super street fighter. No, because the street fighter or the fighter itself has to, you know, develop more. Not just by watching two, three, four, five, six tapes, you're gonna think you're gonna, you know, master everything. That's wrong. Be open minded, learn ground fighting, learn Muay Thai or any standing up, striking. You know, I prefer myself Thai boxing some weaponry from the Filipino Cali, some Jikendo. Every martial art has a strong point, which you should be able, you know, smart and absorb it, take it from you, and do the best out of it. Okay, my friends? I hope you enjoy the tapes, and I'll see you next time.